Okay, so do you guys remember, I'd like to say it was a few months ago, when there was a lot of sirens and flashing lights going on over at the corner of 5th and Vandermark? Anyway, anyway. Okay, who doesn't know? Well, it was, I think it was a Thursday actually. And, um, so, um, all of a sudden there was these sirens and all these vehicles with flashing lights drove up to this corner. And since we live over on Northeastern, it was pretty close and we're like, what's going on? We didn't know, we didn't know. So the next day I asked our friend who's dad is a firefighter, or Caitlin over there, who, uh, what happened? And, um, she said that a guy had had a heart attack and died. Well, it makes you kind of realize how fast life can happen and how quickly someone can actually die. Which is why my purpose today is to persuade you that you need life insurance. Um, I'm going to talk about who needs life insurance, why they need life insurance, and when they should get the life insurance. I have done plenty of research on this topic, and so I believe I am a reputable source about life insurance. And I hope that you walk away from this speech thinking that you need life insurance too. Uh, let's start with who needs life insurance. Anybody in a long-term relationship. Most of the time they end up getting married, but they can have a child together and have a custody dispute sort of deal. And so either the spouse or that child is dependent on you and that income source that you provide. And if you just walk away, if you just go away and they don't have any sort of income, it kind of makes it hard on them for a while. Anybody who has children, they are your dependents. And so, um, if you're a single parent or a married parent, either way, that child depends on you and your income. So you need to protect them for their future life. Um, according to III, life insurance can replace income for dependents. So let's say Brittany's a single parent, even though I know she's not. And, um... Let's say she dies all of a sudden. Logan there can have her income as, from her from a life insurance policy that she could get. Um, if you are alone, you need life insurance because your estate needs to be handled too. You need to be buried somewhere. Your funeral needs to happen. So you need to have money in store for, to, for someone to pay for that for you. Let's move on to why you guys would need life insurance. I'm going to address the three different groups, teenagers, adults with children, and teenagers with children. Um, teenagers, do not buy life insurance right now. You will need it later in your life, but you are a teenager. You do not need life insurance quite yet. But um, when you do get life insurance, according to Michael Estrin of Bank Rate Inc., private lenders will need to be paid off when you die. So, if you get a student loan from a private lender, it doesn't get just wiped away when you die. It needs to be paid off. So, if you have life insurance, that can help pay it off. Um, adults with children. Like I said earlier, you have dependents. And as the word suggests, the dependents depend on you. I know that you're kind of the ones that need life, uh, get life insurance, but that's pretty much all I need to say on it. And teenage with children. I'm sorry, Brittany, but I'm kind of picking on you here. Um, you will probably need life insurance a little sooner than most because you do have a child, and if something happens to you, he needs to be taken care of. Um, according to the American Council of Life Insurers, the largest life insurer in 2013 was MetLife. Sorry, it's not that lucky. Um, in addition, the life expectancy of newborn females in 1998, since most of us were born in 1998, we were newborns, was about 80 years. Can anyone here imagine living to be 80 years old? I, I don't think I can imagine it either. And so, normally you're going to expect that something's going to happen and you're going to die sooner. So get life insurance. Um, we're going to move on to when you need to get life insurance. You need to be a full legal adult. As in, if you are under 18, you, can, you should not get life insurance at all. But also, don't push off getting life insurance. According to Jay McDonald of Bankrate Inc., 
you can negotiate with the insurers, but if you keep procrastinating it off, it's not going to get any cheaper. It's actually going to get more expensive. According back to Estrin, there is a sweet spot for um, the best coverage and the lowest price between 30 and 40 years old. Um, you should get life insurance shortly after you're married because normally you're going to buy have kids and not all insurance companies will give insurance, life insurance, insurance policies to pregnant women. So that's something to think about for later in life. And you should not buy life insurance unless you are ready to commit to the long-term plan. The short-term plans are really expensive with very few benefits. So you probably should not get those. You should get the long-term ones that will cover you for longer and in the end will give you more money. So uh, today I'm talking about how life insurance is not about you. That's the gist of what I'm going to say. It is about your dependents or the people around you, the people that care about you. And that's something that in our society, it's kind of hard to realize because our society is all about me, 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 me. But you have to think about those around you and think about what they need and how your death is going to affect that. Today I talked about, to you about who need life insurance, why you need life insurance, and when you should get life insurance. Um, so, circling back to my earlier story, I don't know if he had life insurance or not. I hope he did, but assuming he didn't, there was a long road for his family to pay, to pay that they had to pay off his expenses, pay off his um, funeral, pay off the pastor, pay for the gravesite, pay for all of the things, and it's hard on the family to go through. Some of you know how that feels. And so, I hope that this makes you realize that you are going to need life insurance. It's just a matter of when.